ambient temperature, 69.56 degrees. So we're in this nice desert environment. Set our weapons layouts. Right away we're going to be under attack from some Falcon Jenners. And we're going to just jump off the top of this Mesa. Oh! And they're going to start firing at us immediately. So we need to get rid of them. So let's use our pulse lasers. Whoops, not glance. Whoa. Center torso. Sorry. Use lasers. Nice headshot there. How about you? Nova Commander something or another. There we go. I remember why I used these specific uh, key commands. Okay. Just one second, though. I need to... There we go. Sorry about that. Let's see. Where's our next Auto nav point? Engaged. Actually had to reset my DOS box settings because of some crazy stuff that happened. So I had my uh, window partially off screen. Let's take a look at our uh, desert camouflage. We're nicely camouflaged into this red and brown desert. Uh oh. Disabled. Nav Alpha. The Storm Crow. That's always something that's a good target to wake you up. Let's back up and fire some missiles at him. Like that. Fire lasers. Fire our laser groups at him. Watch that heat level, though. Shutdown sequence initiated. Shutdown sequence overridden. Ugh. Heat level critical. His torso is heavily damaged. Let's use our LRMs. Let's not, actually. Enemy mech destroyed. That was, I want to save those LRMs for later. Engaged. Next nav point is Nav Beta. So let's continue on our journey. Engaged. The sun is rising. Our Mad Dogs looks very pretty in this resolution, doesn't it? Of course, I have a Mad Dog bias. Ha ha ha! Maybe you have noticed. We have taken a lot of damage to our left torso, so we gotta be careful not to get shot more. Let's see. Capture and secure mobile HQ. We have 21 minutes left. I see some targets on my radar. Autopilot disabled. Some various turrets. Enemy power up detected. Enemy power up. Falcon detected. Elemental, eh? Well, they don't work in this game quite like they do in the board game, so they're just really tiny mechs in this game. So we'll shoot them from long range and see if we can hit them with our large laser and explode them. Oh, they're very small and hard to hit. It's closing in on me. I don't know if I'm hitting them. I don't think so. Oh, I got him. 
He's now in the yellow zone. I'm backing up onto a mesa, apparently, because I'm seem to be increasing in altitude. Oh, you can't fire those large lasers all day. Where am I? I've got a ways to go. Let's uh, move this way. Should be in range for our pulse lasers. Oops, maybe not that one though. I really hate to use the LRMs on them, even though they're homing missiles. The splash damage is good. Come on. Puny little people. Oh. Come on, mech warrior. Uh oh. I have run into a wall. Just like the coyote always does in this environment. Oh. Hope I don't have a boulder fall on me. Shoot him out of the air. Oh, come on. He's right there. Can't hit him. Your target box is so small. All right, I give up. Use missiles. <laughs> Enemy mech destroyed. <sighs> Don't have a choice. That was. I think that's like the only time elementals appear in this game. Very tiny mechs. You can use a cheat code if you enter your name as a certain name into the SIPCO registry. You can play as an elemental and run around people's feet and shoot with your puny laser and tiny SRMs. And some other mechs too. But you can look that up yourself. I'm not game facts. I'm a mad dog. Kind of like it on the other side when the wolf is facing forward. Facing the same direction as my torso. Let's see, that is the... Oh, it's hard to read on the red terrain. Image enhancement. Assault Engage. vehicle. Oh, am I Image damaged? Enhanced. Yes, I am. Engaged. I am yellowed in my torso. That's not good. So, we want to come in from the side because they're in this little cul-de-sac here. Save our missiles for when we need them. There's various turrets. Turrets, turrets, turrets. Let's see. There's a turret. See if I can hit him. Maybe. There we go. Perfect. Enemy target destroyed. It's what I get paid for. Well, not really. But we will have to defend this area. There will be some nasty guys that will descend from these mesas once we capture or eliminate all the defenders of this place. Let's see, are you coming after me? Pick you off from range. Perfectly shot. 
Well done! Let's see. Let's see you over there. There's another turret. Zoom right in on him. Fire at will. Poor Will, he's always getting shot at. Critical. Enemy target destroyed. Absolutely enemy target destroyed. Let's see, and an assault vehicle. Let's see, slow down a little bit. If you sighted me, I will attack you from range. Shoot you with lasers. How you like them assaults, huh? Perfect. Oh, don't shut down, please. See, that's an assault vehicle and a turret. One more turret. I can get him on the run or walk. Do my gunslinger pose. Pew pew go to the lasers. I can fire and move and shoot at the same time. That's what makes me great. Heat level critical. Yeah, heat level's always critical. Why are you always critical of my heat level? There we go. Enemy vehicle. Just take that out. Command vehicle secure. ETA There's this rifleman that's gonna Enemy power up. ruin our day. The rifleman is always a little bit glitchy because he has like too much armor for his size. Oh, come on. Line him up. Try and fire the missiles at him. Try and cut him off at the... Oh, he's over here now. Shoot with you. Shoot with my mighty lasers. Oh. Heat level critical. Darn right, heat level's initiated. critical. Shut no. down sequence overridden. ETA dropship. One minute. Fire with missiles. Oh, you have no arms left. Sucks to be you, because you have nothing else without arms. Bravely run away, Jade Falcon. I will honorably shoot you in the back. Heat level critical. Secondary objective successful. Enemy mech destroyed. ETA dropship. 30 seconds. I am the mech warrior. This mission is successful. Hello, command staff. Prepare to be interrogated. In the wolfiest way possible with sharp teeth and pointy claws and um bad breath Sensors I guess indicate friendly dropship has arrived at there it is site. primary objective capture and secure command vehicle successful proceed to dust off zone for extraction mission successful damn straight The command vehicle has been captured and the staff are being <laughs> quote unquote interrogated. Your action has stunned the enemy long enough for the fifth to link up and resupply the sixth. The mission was a success. 
Secondary objective, primary objective, return objective, all objectives successful. No tertiary objective successful though. Star underweight bonus, 25 points for being 10 tons underweight. 9,000 points. Career honor, 69,946. And as always, the points mean nothing. Well done, Mech Warrior. The Kishik is pleased. Aftermath. The battle on Twycross began on the Plain of Curtains, where fierce winds swept the shifting red sands and forced the Falcon and Wolf Mechs into close combat. The wolves set up in a diamond formation at the edge of the plain in front of the Great Gash. The 341st Assault Cluster stood in front of the formation. The 3rd Battle Cluster and 352nd Assault Cluster formed the sides, and Khan Natasha's 13th Wolf Guards formed the rear. When the Falcon 6th Professional Garrison Cluster struck at the wolves, the 341st quickly fell back, as instructed. That maneuver drew the pursuing 6th Provo into the Diamond, and the 3rd Battle Cluster and the 352nd opened fire on the enemy's flanks, decimating the surprised Falcons. The Falcon's 5th Talon and the 18th Regulars approached more cautiously, however. As those units engaged the 341st, the Falcon Guards advanced to reinforce the attack. Heavy fighting ensued, and both sides took extensive casualties. Then the 341st broke off from the battle and passed into the Great Gash, quickly followed by the 3rd Battle Cluster and the 352nd. Meanwhile, the 13th Wolf Guards slowly retreated until they stood at the mouth of the Gash. Did you get all those numbers and units? There's going to be a quiz at the end of this, you know. Khan Natasha had hoped to draw the Falcons into the Gash. She had stationed the 11th Battle Cluster along the sides of the Gash and planned to ambush the Falcon mechs as they marched into the valley. The Falcons did not fall for the bait, however. At that point, Khan Natasha ordered the wolf units to evacuate Twycross, and she remained behind to challenge the Falcon commanders to individual combat. And so, on December 7th, a date which will live in infamy, 3057, Khan Natasha Kerensky of the Wolf Clan, the infamous Black Widow, died amid the blood-red sands of Twycross. Wow, how about that? She stayed behind and fought till the death. Interesting. So the Khan is... Khan Natasha Kerensky is dead. That will be interesting in the future. Alright, until the next time, I will see you around. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Also check out my other recent videos. And if you'd like, you can pledge to sponsor me at patreon.com forward slash L1011widebody.